your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Clouds thickening up across the area, and here comes the rain. A very light rain, patches of light rain drizzle, and even some fog will start to develop as our fetch of moisture comes right off the Atlantic Ocean, backs up against the mountains, especially once it gets to this little batch, once it hits the southeastern slopes of the mountains right about in through here, it'll lift and become a little bit heavier. In fact, that's where you, the upslope areas, you could possibly see as much as three to four inches of rain, not tonight, but total tomorrow and Friday and into Friday night. So some good soaking rains from across the area. So here's our patches of light rain and drizzle, uh, some sprinkles, a life shot in downtown Greenville it remains dry. It's a live shot from on top of the Peace Center in downtown Greenville. We're at 60, a little bit cooler in Spartanburg, 54 degrees. Also 54 in Rutherfordton, 52 in Hendersonville, 51 in Asheville right now. 61, Lawrence, Anderson, and also in Tacoa. There's that northeasterly breeze at 10 miles per hour in Greenville. It's going to become more established, uh, 10 to maybe 15 miles per hour and gusty during the day tomorrow. It's going to make for a chilly day with that steady rain and a northeasterly breeze in the upstate. More... Uh, higher humidity levels in through the mountains of North Carolina, back through North Georgia. 66 right now in Columbia, 63 in Charleston, 63 also along the Grand Strand and Myrtle Beach. Same story in Macon and also in Atlanta and in Chattanooga, 48 though in Greensboro. So the chilly weather up here in the mid-Atlantic states. So with our northeasterly wind tomorrow and once the rain gets established, that's when we're really going to establish that wedge of cool air. So we're going to grab some of that colder air and bring it down. So it's going to be a chilly day, quite chilly day tomorrow. Wind chills will be in the 40s. Uh, snow. Up here and through the Rockies, especially all on the northern part of the country. And this is the storm system that's going to actually pull through here and bring us showers and maybe even some thunderstorms on a Friday. It's already starting to grab some of that Arctic air up in Canada. Look at this. It's four right now in Billings, Montana. So and while well, it's 74 in Brownsville, Texas, wow, 70 degrees warmer from there to there. So this storm system comes out here. It's going to grab the cold Arctic air behind it. Ahead of it, it's going to warm up for us on Friday. So there's that storm system tomorrow morning. The upslope, northeasterly breeze at the surface. We're looking at a steady rain, maybe some patchy fog. And uh, some of this rain could be moderate to heavy at times. And then there's the storm system coming in uh, tomorrow night into Friday morning. Thunderstorms along that front. Uh, with some frozen stuff behind it. And so a slight chance of these thunderstorms actually getting better organized and becoming severe. Right now it's it's pretty low as far as the potential for some severe, severe weather. At least that's from the Storms Prediction Center. We have a lot of the ingredients there except for the instability. So let's hope that holds true. We'll keep you updated. All right, patchy rain uh, this evening, drizzle and fog giving way to a steadier rain late tonight, well after midnight. And then rainy, breezy, and quite chilly tomorrow on the upstate high, 54 degrees, 52 in the mountains with rain likely and some valley fog around the area. Four day plus looks like this. Rain continuing tomorrow night with some patchy fog. Showers likely on Friday with maybe a few thunderstorms. We'll keep you updated on a potential for some heavy rain. I think most of us will see at least one to three inches of rain from this storm system and we need rain badly. So this is these are certainly welcome rains as long as we keep the severe weather away. Then it gets colder and dry over the upstate for the weekend all the way through most of next week. Now